The internet is like ice cream, and we should be able to enjoy it in many ways. We'd like to get our ice cream whether we buy it in a store or a supermarket. We might like premium or discount ice cream, or we might like our ice cream bundled in a banana split or in a sundae. Zero rating is the free sample of the ice cream world. You might have a favorite flavor of ice cream, chocolate or strawberry, what have you. What's the incentive for you to try a flavor that you've never had if there's not a free sample? What Zero Rating does is it enables you to try a different flavor without having to expend the cost. It's an idea that another entity will subsidize your internet connection for that particular service. So T-Mobile has launched two Zero Rating services in 2015. One was called uh, Music Freedom and another is called Binge On. Music Freedom is a music streaming service. It has over 40, uh, maybe 50 different music services you can choose from. You can listen to all the music you want. It's not charged to your subscription. And they have one called Binge On, where you can watch all the videos you want. They gained 8 million net new customers in 2015. What Zero Rating does is introduce people to content they might not already know, or it may enable them to engage even further with content they love. You can look at this uh, free basics. It's deployed in 30 countries. It's a slimmed down version of Facebook, which includes some of the key Facebook apps, which is Messenger. And then it has local language content in applications, weather, transportation, health, and so on. And what has been found is in general, when this is deployed in the country, about 50% of the people who use the free basics, they tend to buy an internet subscription after 30 days. One of the frequent criticisms is that zero rating is somehow lessening the internet experience or decreasing the amount of content that people see or censoring their experience in some ways. They have the sort of criticism that internet access it needs to be the same connection all the time. So if you make a subscription, you have to access the entire internet and it needs to be that way. Another criticism that they may bring is that zero rating is a sort of a discriminatory activity and that it's not the user's choice, it's in fact the ISP's choice. It's in a sort of an the assumption of the idea that we all need to have the same kind of internet connection every time. It has an assumption that we all value content the same. And the fact of the matter is we don't. And especially in a developing country context, you have people who've never been online and for them to use one app on a feature phone is a success. So if you need to check the weather, you need to check a crop price, and that's the only thing you do with your phone other than to use it to send a voice or SMS, that is a win. So for them, the free sample, the free ice cream sample, the zero rating is particularly important because they've never tried it. This is actually a way to increase the adoption of the internet. It's a way to increase the kind of content that's out there. And it's also important because it gets more subscribers on the network. All that zero rating is doing is helping to increase the competition and expanding the user choice.